Hi there, and welcome to The Doe Show for Wednesday, February 27th, 2019. I'm Ferris Fair. I'm Bambi Dextrous. And, and we're Dragging, dragging our, our heels. heels. We have another really great episode for you today, so let's get right into it. Uh, before we get into even newer videos, I just want to thank you to Bambi for getting through the editing for Rosemary's Bay, and the entire production is now up and available on the channel, so you definitely should go and check that out as soon as you're done watching this. Now let's get into the new videos. On Friday in Calgary at Dickens Pub, Duke Carson, the 2018 Alberta Drag Superstar, hosted the Calgary qualifiers for the 2019 Alberta's Next Drag Superstar. Uh, it was a fun evening all around. It looks like everybody had a fantastic time. Um, we were lucky enough to, uh, with our friends from the Fake Mustache Troupe, were able mm -hmm. to get the footage. Thank you, LJ. So, uh, absolutely, thank you. That's fantastic. We, uh, couldn't have done it without you. Yeah, <laughs> check out Fake Mustache Drag. Absolutely, do so. Um, so it was a fantastic night. There were nine people that were up for the... Mm -hmm. Three spots was all they had. So, yeah. um, yeah, it was definitely a tough and tight competition. But they definitely turned it out. I do want to do a shout out to Electrocute. I uh, really enjoyed the applause number and that reveal from the share uh, curly wig to the share slash Crystal Gale long straight wig was, was incredible. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, fabulous job on that. It was a super fun number. Congratulations to all three of the performers from Calgary that have made it into the finale up here in Edmonton on May the 3rd with Latrice motherfucking Royale. It's going to be fantastic. So congratulations to Dana Hart, who did a fantastic number. Uh, it was like killer. <laughs> uh, it was, uh, she glittered and she danced and like it just it was fabulous. Uh, from the House of Prince. Um, so, uh, not totally surprising that she banged the number out. So, uh, looking forward to see what she does in the finale. Uh, also making it through was Moby Dick, the marvelous one. And she did a fantastic version of feeling good. And mm. she was looking good. And he was looking good. And yeah. Uh, yeah. we love the marvelous Moby Dick. So congratulations to Moby. Uh, we can't wait to see you up here in the finale. Also making it through to the finale was Angelina Starchild. Congratulations to her. Um, side note, we uploaded like 66 videos this week and um, we reached 6,000 videos. And lucky number 6,000 was Angelina Starchild with her number Snake. So congrats. Uh, congrats. Milestone Milestone number. video. Um, but yeah. On top of that on honor. On top of that, <laughs> the number itself was fabulous. Though. It really was. Uh, it was, uh, she slithered and she stomped and uh, lit synced her way all the way to Edmonton. It was fantastic. She did a, a cover of Alaska's Snake and it was so good. Uh, so yeah, congratulations to all three of them. I can't wait to see what you bring to the finale on May the 3rd. Edmonton? You've got your work from you've got your work cut out for you if you want to take the title back. That's yeah, all I'm gonna like say. Edmonton, look into these videos. Look at Angelina Starchild in particular. I think you really need to mm -hmm. be worried. I think Edmonton needs to step up their game. Uh, I know. Last year when we were sitting there and we came back from the Calgary qualifiers, and we were like, "Oh my God, this person and this person and this person," and everybody up here in Edmonton was just like, "Oh no, I haven't even watched the videos." Yeah. and I was just kind of like, "Oh, Edmonton, okay. wake up." Well, watch the videos. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, Calgary got first and third last year. So keep that in mind. <laughs> watch the videos. Thanks again to uh, Fake Mustache Troop. That was fantastic. Uh, we look forward to hopefully working with you more in the future. Yes. Uh, did anything else happen that evening? We had a special Edmonton guest there. Kat Marlowe Menorah was yes. down in Calgary. She did a lovely number of Mama Knows Best. Mm -hmm. um, so it was wonderful to see her rock the stage, and uh, that's not the only guest they had in Calgary. They had international star Bible Girl, Bible Girl, who went down and did a fabulous number, and then I believe came back up here and performed here in Edmonton. Absolutely, did a turnaround and drove up actually with Cat 
uh, to uh, come to Edmonton to Evolution on the Saturday night. But we'll get to her in a sec because we've got other things before that. And that's not all. Also on Friday in Edmonton, we had our own Anne's Preliminary. Um, that was hosted by Rob Browatsky, and why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, it was a fun night. Uh, definitely Edmonton did bring it. Uh, I saw some really incredible performances and some great looks, and uh, yeah, congratulations to everyone that was in the competition. There was 10, I believe, um, and uh, yeah, they really all did amazing. First, I want to talk about Shayla Zahn LaRue. Um, she did a, uh, and I'm telling you, I'm not going, um, which she has done before. It was actually the first number that she ever did on the Evolution stage. So yes. it was kind of a throwback kind of thing. So um, I kind of liked that she brought one of her best numbers and was kind mm -hmm. of, you know. And it was a very intentional throwback too. Like, I think so. Yes, it was a repeat, but I think it was intentional. Yeah, I, I, I wondered whether it was maybe like a little bit of a story arc that maybe like this is where I started. And But anyway, I, I thought she did a wonderful, wonderful job of it. Um, so congratulations to her. You should definitely check out the video of that. Mm -hmm. I've got to mention Yolanka. Mm. Yolanka did a fabulous job. She looked amazing in that outfit. Mm. And uh, she did a little jaw thing, a little detox. Mm. Yeah, I can't, I can't even remotely, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think with the amount I move my mouth that I'd be able to have more skill <laughs> with it. But. So yeah, amazing job, girl. Shayla Zahn and Yolanka also are maybe not out of it yet, and neither are Miss Indecisive, Plastica, or Severina, because there is also going to be a wild card spot. So yeah. uh, that is super cool. So good luck to all of them with that. And congratulations to these next five who made it through to the semifinals on March 29th with Stacey Lane Matthews. Hello! Gigi had a wonderful, wonderful number with her V is for Vanity. And like she had costuming with the orange and the fiery orange hair. The looks all really tied together. So good job to Gigi. Yeah, Gigi did fabulous. And uh, to me, with my family, V will always be for Vanity. But G is for Gigi. And that is surely I agree. <laughs> yeah, uh, great job. Um, Somebody else that did a fantastic job, obviously, because they made it through, was Pheromone Kills. Did a Will and Grace Karen Walker number. Uh, yeah, there was no Just Jack. It was all Just Karen, and it was a really fun, silly, campy mm -hmm. number. Uh, and uh, one of those ones that Pheromone has kind of been known to bring out in this kind of competition. So, yeah, it was a nice nod. And, and yeah, uh, really, mm -hmm. I think she got one of the best reactions of the night. So yeah. uh, congratulations to Pheromone on your number. And we can't wait to see what you're going to bring in the semis. We had Connie Lingua going mm -hmm. through to the semifinals. And she, I think, surprised a lot of people mm -hmm. with her very comedic routine, mm -hmm. uh, Give Your Dick to Me. And she had some wig reveals, a couple of wig reveals, in fact. So congratulations on her. Yeah, absolutely. It was a fun number. Uh, speaking of fun numbers, uh, Godiva came out and did The World Is Not Enough. Mm. Um, she had some backup. She had some good looking backup. She had uh, Patrick and Lewis helping yeah. her out slash carried away and it's always Tequila nice Mockingbird. It's some eye candy on the stage. Right? They came out looking very James Bond, very suave and debonair. And uh, anyway, then, yeah, Godiva came out and just did a fantastic performance which was just anyway uh i have been begging her for years to be a part of this competition to actually see her first number realized on stage in her first year doing it i am just so happy so anyway uh, you definitely need to check out that video and i'm not mm -hmm. going to talk too much about it because there's a few surprises that are really kind of fun and uh yeah anyway definitely check it out <laughs> congratulations to i gotta go who made it through as well um i gotta had like a little disney little mermaid thing and i was worried she's coming from my gig <laughs> but no it was really good she played a twist on the aerial thing yeah uh it kind of startled me at first uh i didn't know what she was doing like when she was just crawling across the <laughs> stage and then i realized that she had a tail and i was just like oh <laughs> uh, but yeah uh it was it was a fun classic already somehow classic Agata number. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so congratulations to her and I really kind of, yeah. 
nervous slash excited to see what you're going to bring to the semifinals. Uh, another number that I thought was fantastic that evening, which wasn't a part of the competition, but in this world, isn't it always a competition, as my mother would probably agree. Uh, but yes, uh, Lilith Fair performed He's a Dream from the flashback soundtrack, and it was... I, I, I haven't even heard that song in like 15 years, so it was such a throwback in my yeah, brain. Yeah, I didn't even know it. Yeah, of course, it meant nothing know. to you. Uh, but yeah, par Lilith's parents are about my age. I think that's what the problem is. It's like she yeah. hears... Yeah. Anyway. Um, but yeah, it was a fantastic number, and, and yeah, just classic Lilith, you know, going out there and banging out a number, doing some of her dance numbers. So uh, yeah, it was a fun night all around, and you should definitely check out all the videos available now. I'm dragging our heels. That's enough about Drag Superstar, for now at least. Uh, moving on to our next show that we are covering this weekend was the Dukes and Diamonds show put on by the ISCWR at Evolution Wonder Lounge. Mm -hmm. And Christy Healy and Trailer Park Trash hosted that show. Christy did a wonderful number of Big Spender, loved it so much. And the other number I really wanted to talk about was Jeffy Lube Express. Uh, very happy, very glad to see him back on stage. Yay, and, we love Jeffy Lube. <laughs> yeah, and it was a really fun camping number. Yeah, he did Camp Granada, which, you know, is like a classic from, you know, anyway, it's just a wonderful song. Uh, so congratulations to Chris DeBear and Rexy Resurrection and uh, the rest of the ICWR on their fantastic show. Uh, a lot of those people stuck around because... There was a second show at Evolution right afterwards, and that was a Bible Girl special appearance. Uh, as we said earlier, she came up and uh, put on a couple of numbers and banged those out, met a bunch of people, made a whole bunch of people happy. There was people that were just, yeah, living. There were living. people who had traveled to different cities following Bible Girl. It was crazy. Right? So that's, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, she seemed, like, really sweet and... Uh, I think I got to meet her. So anyway, uh, we had some local performers, of course, too. I gotta go and God and Indigo and Sephoria and a few others. So uh, check out all so those she, videos. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, so definitely check out all of those videos on dragging our heels. It was another busy night for Edmonton Drag. Uh, Fruit Loop put on their latest event, February Fling, at the Urban Tavern. Urban Tavern. Urban. <laughs> Urban Tavern. I love the Urban Tavern. Anyway, uh, Fitzy and Andrew Ginny were the co-hosts, and they had uh, some burlesque and drag performances, and uh, yeah, so definitely check out those videos as well. Uh, we actually had our friend Noah was filming for that one. It's the first time he's ever filmed for us. So thank you to Noah for checking that out and uh, catching those videos for us. On Sunday, Drag Your Heels was at the Sunday Review. It was a very special Davina birthday comedy review. It was. It was a really fun time. Um, yeah, uh, it was an all-star cast, too. Like, Yeah, actually, like, when you think about it, yes. Lilith and Kat and Ruby and Sister Mary and Kenya and Harvey and Smokey Guyliner. <laughs> Legendary Smokey Guyliner. Yeah, so, yeah like it was... All-star cast. Right? Totally. It, was, it, was, it was a really good show. Um, some of my favorites of the night, Cat. Uh, really banged out a couple of good ones. Um, mm -hmm. The Show Me Your News, <laughs> which which I guess was somewhat guest appearing by uh, Sandarina slash Shapeshifter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, and then she also did a, a, a tongue-in-cheek number about the Stiletto Awards, uh, which, uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed. It was, it was funny. I mean, it was, yeah. yeah. Um, Lilith did a couple of numbers, which, of course, you know I'm going to be a mark for. Uh, she redid Brown Lip Liner, uh, which you know I love. And then she did a wonderful version of Malumbo Number One. Yeah. Um, it was a night full of repeats, if I may say so. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Mary brought back her Greatest Love of All number. Mm -hmm. Ruby Hyman brought back her Poop Noodle number. Mm -hmm. It was a good night. Um, Kenya brought back some of her favorites too. Um, and, and yeah, but I, I, I have to talk about Smokey because Smokey, I don't know, you know, we're fans of Smokey Guyliner. Uh, he did two hilarious numbers. <laughs> like, I don't really? even. Really? At a comedy yeah, show? <laughs> yeah, at a comedy show. Like, he brought the comedy. He did Fucker Gently, which is classic. And then he did some. 
Bloodhound Gang, which you're a fan of, but I'm um, a fan of Bloodhound Gang. Yeah, a little um, bit. Uh, a lap dance is always better when the stripper is crying. Is that what's called? A lap dance is so much better when yeah. the stripper is crying. When the stripper is crying. Anyway, uh, and it's all about this stripper named Bambi. Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you definitely need to check uh, it out. It was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> And then Davina capped the night off with uh, a little bit of baking. A little bit of baking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did a number called Muffins. And I'm not going to go into it at all, but you should definitely yeah, check we'll it out. Yeah, we'll just leave it saying you should check it out. Yep. And thank you to the cleanup crew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was a fun show. And uh, Davina was technically the host, but Sister Mary came on and rolled on in the second half and decided to stick around. So if you see her in all the videos, just kind of like sitting there in the corner. That's why. That's why. That's Mary. <laughs> Get to your uh, spot, Mary. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely a fun show. Mm -hmm. When you add all of that up, that makes the 66 videos that we added to our channel since the last time we filmed one of these. So uh, yeah, definitely check them out. Like, share, subscribe, do all those wonderful things that we so enjoy. But I want to tell you about what's coming up next week before you go away and do all that. Some big things coming up big next week. Big things! We have a huge weekend coming up, and it starts this week on a Thursday. On Thursday at the Yellowhead Brewery, Imani is putting on her very first show, and I'm super excited for her. Yeah. Uh, she actually works there as her day job, and they came to her and were just like, Hey girl, like you want to put on a show? She's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> In that voice. Yeah, like that. that was pretty much a quote. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so it's going to be a super fun time. I'm actually going to go and check it out and film. Uh, she's got Sushi and Sister Mary Clarence and I think Pheromone Kills and it's going to be a good time. Yeah, on Friday at Evolution Wonder Lounge, it is round two of Alberta's next drag superstar, Edmonton edition. Yes. There are six competitors coming up this Friday. Count them six. I know of at least one. Can you fill me in on a few of the others? Would that be possible? Oh, of course. Six performers going to be good. There's Ivy League, Sephoria, Lucien Le Pearl, Chantel Couture, a brand new one, Kelly Electrics, Bambi Dextrous. Yeah, that was the one I couldn't think of. Bambi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am really looking forward to this. It's going to be good. Um, I, I'm not sure what anybody's going to bring to the table, but I'm sure they're all going to yeah, like, step it up, especially after seeing what everybody did last week. It's going to be good. Mm -hmm. I don't know what anyone else is bringing. I don't want to know what nope. anyone else is bringing. I know that I've been working really hard on my number, and I'm very proud of what I'm going to present on Friday. So that yeah, that's all I'll say. I'm looking forward to it. It's uh it's gonna be a good time. So you should definitely come and check it out. And the best part, it's free to get in. <gasps> all you have to yes. do is say one of the performers' names when you get in. So like, basically, use use code Bambi at the door, <laughs> <laughs> and you can get in for free and come cheer on uh, all the performers. So definitely, it's gonna be a fun time. So come check it out. Saturday is a super busy event. We are so far making it to two out of three, um, but we will be at the Show Us Your Newbies. It's always a fun time. This one is going to be produced by Lily Minx, hosted by Ruby Ray, and featuring the performances of Misty Mirage. It's going to be a fantastic time. Mm -hmm. Across town at the Coral Plaza, our own intrepid videographer, Gemini, is hosting their show, The Basic Bitch Bash. That's a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be a fun show. Sushi's going to be there. Um, and uh, it's some, indigo. An indigo and some performances uh, from some performers from Calgary, including Vanta Black. It's going to be a really fun time. So definitely mm -hmm. think about checking that out as well. On Sunday, Evolution Wonder Lounge is putting on a very special episode of the Sunday Review. The... All King Show, put on by Colin Bay, called Call, Call Me, Me Daddy. Daddy. Um, yeah, it's going to be a super fun show. Uh, sh <clears throat> he's got all kinds of amazing performers lined up, so mm -hmm. you should definitely think about checking it out. 
I may even be doing one of the numbers as a tip spot. So. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, definitely come down and cheer on the old man as he belts out a tune. And I just want to also say, uh, Greg from accounting is going to be in yeah. this show. Who isn't very out very often, but after all, it is tax season. So. Ah it's tax season. It's time to see Greg again. And yeah, and again, as a fellow cherry popper, we always want to support Greg too. So that's fantastic. Uh, you should definitely think about coming to the show on Sunday. Dragging our heels isn't necessarily filming these next events, but they should be on your radar because why not come to these events even if they're not being filmed? Exactly. Gives you even more reason to go. <laughs> <laughs> on Thursday at Evolution Wonder Lounge, it is the RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11 viewing party. Uh, it's going to be a really good time. That is actually how we got to know a heck of a lot of the community and got us kind of involved in the whole thing. Uh, it was going to the uh, premiere party for the year that Courtney Act and Bianca and them were there. And we got tickets to the Alberta's Next Drag Superstar yeah, we are finale with Courtney Act. That was how we got involved. So, uh, yeah, it's always fun and uh, definitely come and check it out. Mm -hmm. On Saturday... Once again, Dragging Your Heels isn't scheduled to be filming at this event as of yet. Um, if you are able to volunteer to film, let us know, and we'll see if anything can change. But on Saturday at Have Mercy, it is another installment of Ivy League's A League of Her Own. And it looks like it's going to be a really good show, so uh, definitely think about checking it out. And on Sunday, it is Drag Bingo at 9910, hosted by the lovely Vanity Fair and Godiva. They're always super popular, so make sure you get there in good time if you want a table. Well, I think that's about enough of our yakking at you for one week, but I feel like there's just one more piece of information we need to deliver. What yes. could that be? Only the picks of the week! Um... I'm just going to throw it right out there. There was a few that were really close. Really close. Mm -hmm. um, but I am going with Godiva. The world is not enough. It was just... Uh, yeah. It was exactly what I looked for in an Anne's number. Um, just with everything. Everything. Everything! Everything. <laughs> is there enough everything? <laughs> everything! <laughs> My pick of the week is going to be... Angelina Starchild oh. with Snake. Uh, she was our 6,000th video, yep. but that's not all. It was a fabulous number with a costume change, with a Linda Blair moment. Oh god, moment. the Linda Blair moment when she crawled across the floor was absolutely killer. And yeah, that was at the Violet Tchotchke reveal. Like it was. Just fling. Oh, girl, you had it all. So these are my reasons for choosing Angelina. And Edmonton, if you're listening, you gotta beware. Beware of Calgary this year. Mm-hmm. Every year. <laughs> Every year. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you check out all of those 66 videos that we have now uploaded to the channel. Um, our apologies to anybody who was blocked due to copyright. That's why you should check Check out Local Drag Live so that you don't run into those problems. <laughs> exactly. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Uh, Imani is putting on a special anti-Valentine's night on the yellow bit on the yellow head. Oh Imani's my. performing on the yellow head. It's going to be killer. If anybody, it's going to be killer. If anybody could give her a ride there and back, it'd be greatly appreciated. <laughs> Bambi, don't go near the cars. Yeah, Bam Bambi's not allowed to perform <laughs> on the yellow head. <laughs> Triggered. Too much. Bambi's family's lost too many people on the yellow head. She's I'm not, not allowed near the she's roads. She's not by allowed myself. to go to that bar. <laughs> <laughs>